Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com and my continuing series on making a move from Windows 10 to Linux Mint. I'm going to talk about some very special video programs that I use to produce these how-to tutorials for you to watch and for people who are interested in producing how-to videos for anybody else. So before I get to that, if you have not seen it on my original episode, I talked about how to install Oracle VirtualBox on your Windows machine or on your Mac. And then I also show you how to install Linux Mint 17.3 Rosa within your virtual machine. I will leave that in the description below if you haven't seen it yet. So if you are in the whole Windows world, the most popular screen recording program is most definitely Camtasia. This is also available for Mac as well. Now, the reason why a lot of people want some type of screen recording program or need screen recording programs is if you are doing any type of how-to tutorials, the best way is to show people what you're doing on your computer screen. And then the second thing a lot of people like to have is some type of web camera application to where it shows their face on a little screen so people can follow along and feel like somebody's guiding them. You could also use that web camera application to actually do other type of tutorial or other type of videos. So those two things I think are essential if you are doing those type of videos. Now Camtasia is not available on Linux, but if you are on a PC or Mac, the pricing for this is $299. And I think that good software, it's worth the money. And Camtasia is an excellent piece of software. For most people, however, if they're just starting out, that's probably not an affordable option for them. However, since we are talking about Linux and not Windows or Mac, there are a variety of very powerful software available on Linux produced by people in the open source community, and they are providing this for free, which is amazing. However, in any of these software programs, if there is an option to donate to them, I would highly recommend you do that for the software that you find very useful. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Simple Screen Recorder. Um, this is the website, and in my opinion, it is absolutely the best and most powerful screen recording software on Linux, hands down. There's another one called Vocal Screen, but this is actually the one that I use, and it's extremely stable and extremely powerful, and it's actually the one that I use to do all my tutorial videos that you are seeing right now. Now, to get Simple Screen Recorder, the easiest way to do it is to actually open up your software manager. And I'm going to do all of this through the software manager. So what you would do is go to your menu, administration, and then you would open up your software manager. And once you have that up, all you have to do is look up screen recorder. Okay. If I could spell correctly. And once you do that, you see simple screen recorder come up. Um, I already have it installed. And, you know, once you open it up, just click on install and it will install the program. And what happened is the program will show up under sound and video and there's simple screen recorder. Now, some of the things I won't be able to show you because I'm actually recording right now. But whenever you open up screen recorder, it opens up like this. It's an extremely simple interface. And unfortunately, I can't show you how to change these options because I'm recording right now. But just let you know, definitely download this, uh, use it. It is the most powerful screen recording program that I see, and I would put it up to any paid software, hands down. It's excellent. Okay, so that's simple screen recorder. Now, if you want the latest version, the latest version would be through his website, and you don't necessarily download it. You would actually have to go through your terminal screen to get the most recent version. And um, I will not do a tutorial on that one. However, you could just follow the instructions and you could use it that way, okay? So simple screen recorder, the first one you should download for sure. Now the second thing you want is some type of web camera application. And there is actually two very popular versions on Linux. The first one is Cheese, and I think Cheese is the most popular one. And uh, it's a really funny name, but it makes sense if you, whenever you're taking a picture, you say cheese. Okay, so that's really, really funny. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that one first, and then I'll talk about the second one. So once again, you'll go into your software manager and just type in cheese. Okay. And there's cheese right there. Uh, obviously, I've already installed it. And you just double click on it. And then whenever the program comes up, you just click on install. And 
Once again, it'll show up under your menu, sound and video, and there's cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna start this up. Hopefully it won't mess up the screen recording. So I already have cheese down here, so let me start it up. Okay, so let's see. All right, so it might be kind of slow because I am doing screen recording at the same time, but Cheese is, in my opinion, the easiest uh, web camera application that you can use on Linux, and it is, just to me, it's my preferred one, okay? Because a lot of times I just want to do screen recordings of me in front of my laptop, and this is the best one. And also, um, you could use it for uh, your Google Hangouts or Skype or whatever the case might be. Now, if you go here to Cheese, you see that there's multiple options here available, okay? And you could go to Preferences right here. Now, whenever you go in, I would definitely go to your Preferences first because that's where you could control which camera you're going to use, okay? So I'm using my Logitech webcam, and you could also use the webcam built into your laptop. And you could also choose the different resolutions as well, okay? And at the same time, you could also adjust different settings here you know, so your saturation, contrast, and so forth. And you could also add some other options here as well. So you could also take pictures uh, besides just video. And the reason why I like Cheese is because it's very simple and it's very stable, okay? Now, if you did want to take a video, you would go to, here's on photo mode by default, you could go to video as well, and then you could record a video. And you could also do a burst mode where it would take multiple photos in burst, okay? And there's also an effects uh, feature as well where you can add different types of effects to your videos or pictures, which is uh, pretty cool, okay? And a lot of people who, uh, I would say, who do like a lot of uh, video programs or tutorials, they don't use Cheese because of the fact that um, it doesn't offer as many features. And you'll see what I mean here in a little bit later. Like, for example, um, if I try to resize my screen, like, for example, if you were doing a tutorial, um, see, you can resize it. However, this bottom part will always remain, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, but to me, that's about the only thing that I don't like about it, that I can't remove this portion, okay? So I'm going to close that. And so for people who want more control over their web camera features, uh, the best one for that is this GUC View software, okay? Now, uh, that's kind of a long name, but this one is more advanced. However, there are some issues that I have with this. I'm going to go ahead and explain it right now. So the way you install it is, once again, the same. You would go to Software Manager, and you would type in GUVC View. And then you should see it right there. And then you should just install it. Now, one of the things that I noticed is that if you are on a Linux version that is not version 18, which is the most latest version, they don't have the most recent version on there. You know, GU VC View, the most recent version is 2.03. And I had that problem originally. And what happens is whenever you open up your program, okay, I've already installed it, but whenever you open up GU VC View and you're not using the latest version, what will happen is your web camera will not show up, okay? It'll just be like a, a black screen. It won't show anything. I've already fixed this because I have the most recent version. Now, if you do run into that problem, what you would do is you would go to this GT, I mean GUC view site and go to documentation here. And you just scroll down here to Ubuntu users and do this in the terminal screen, okay? So if you're not familiar with how to do this, let me show you. And I'm not actually going to go through all the steps because I have already done it, okay? So what you do is you would open up a terminal, okay? And then you would copy and paste this line right here this pseudo app, okay? Copy and paste it into your terminal, okay? And after you paste this, the next thing you should do is pseudo app get update, okay? And then when you put it in there, then press enter after that. And finally, you will install the most recent version of GUVC view. Just do pseudo app get install GUVC view, and it install it on your particular uh, computer and at the same time whenever you go to your software manager it will have the most recent version okay so that's if you are having problems installing this on Linux Mint you know 17.3 which is the problem that I had however let's get back into the program 
One of the things that people love about GU VC View is the sheer amount of features that it has. This is definitely more powerful than cheese, okay? So let me show you some of the features. I'm going to minimize this real quick. So if you notice, here's the same brightness control and saturation features that you have in cheese, but you also have another thing such as frequency, gain, uh, your sharpness, backlight, exposure, a lot of features here. And then if you go to your video controls, um, make sure that you choose the right web camera, just like cheese. So I'm choosing my Logitech. And you could also choose the different frame rates and also the resolution as well. And you could also choose the camera output. And there's some other features here as well. So um, here you could do different filters. Like for example, I could use just invert. It goes upside down, negative, mono. So you get the point. Uh, it's similar to the effects on cheese. And another thing you could do is you have, you know, more control over your audio as well. So the audio API default support audio, I'm using post audio. And then you want to make sure that you're actually choosing the webcam. Um, if you do have a webcam attached, if you're not, then it'll use whatever audio that you have on your particular laptop. And here you could also adjust the latency, sample rates. Uh, you could even put different audio effects as you're recording, uh, which is cool. And then you could go into your settings and adjust things uh, such as your video codec, okay? There's many different codecs you should choose. And I just choose the default, MPEG-4, okay? And the thing is, this is a very powerful piece of software for a web camera. And just like Cheese, you could actually adjust the screen. But unlike Cheese, you don't have that really annoying border at the bottom, which is, which is great, okay? But the problem that I have with GU... CV view is the fact that um, it's really resource intensive. So what happens is if I have my video controls and I have it above 640 by 480, like for example, this thing could, this video camera could shoot at 720p, which is 1280 by 720. The problem is my audio does not sync up with my video, you know, so I'm going to play around with it more, but that's definitely a big problem if your audio is not syncing up with your video. So for certain things, I think GUVC view would definitely help out. Like for example, if I'm doing this video tutorial and I want people to see my face down here on a little window, then GUVC view does a better job than cheese uh, because of the fact that it doesn't have that horrible border on the bottom. But for just like video recording through the webcam, I think cheese is a better option. And once again, these are free whichever way you go. At least for my computer, um, it doesn't work really well when I, in, when I um, increase the resolution under GUVC view. However, when I do it on Cheese, Cheese has no problems handling that. So that is uh, my video tutorial series, I guess, for this particular episode where I showed you Simple Screen Recorder, which allows you to record your screen. I uh, showed you Cheese and GUVC view. And so... There are any other video applications that you use um, in Linux, be sure to leave them below. And if you had any questions, uh, also, you can leave them in the descriptions, or you could also send me a snap at Geek Outdoors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode